Hello, so I've seen quite a few people getting a bit concerned about their new Mini 5 Pro because when they fire it up to take it off, the motors do a bit of a pulse, they go listen, and then it takes off. Now, is that supposed to happen? Is there a problem with the motors? What's going on there? I'm gonna tell you what I think is going on. This isn't confirmed, but I'm pretty sure this is what is going on and why it should be nothing to worry about. So if you're new around here, my name is Justin. It is great to see your wonderful smiling face. And if you've been here before, it's great to have you back. So I think the main reason this is happening is because of these new style of propellers. Let me just power this off first of all. So with the Mini 4 Pro, the Mini 3 Pro, a lot of the Mini drones previously, we've had free rotating propellers, which means the propellers are free to rotate whilst they're on this specific mechanism here. There was no specific propeller locking mechanism where there is on the Mini 5 Pro. So if you see, as I hold the propeller out like that, the propeller remains rigid. It is locked in place. Now, if you want to disengage the lock, what you do, you push the propeller towards the uh, hub. So if I get in really close, you see you push it, it moves a little bit and that disengages the lock. It can now freely rotate. So this lock is helping to maintain the propeller's position whilst the drone is flying. And I think this is the reason why we now get that double motor pulse on startup in order to ensure that those propellers have fully flung out and are locked in place. Now, I think the reason you get a surge and then a pull back is because there's a slight change there in the centrifugal force. So if you imagine the propellers were folded, as they spin up, they start to fling out, but they might not quite fling out far enough to lock in place. So in order to just help them along, if the motor pulses and then slows back down again, Momentum will help carry the propeller further around, slotting it into that locking position. And that is the main reason why I think this is going on. I don't think it's anything that you should be concerned about. In fact, I think it's a good thing because if they didn't surge and the propellers didn't get into that locked position, the chances are there's going to be some issues with flight. I think DJI noticed this during testing, which is why they implemented this new locking system in order to just help the propeller maintain its correct position as it's flying along. This is the highest performance mini drone that we have seen from DJI. So it's not a surprise that they're having to do things a little differently in the propulsion department, just to make sure that our things stay in the sky while we're flying. So let me just do a quick demonstration so you are fully aware of what I'm talking about in case you uh, either haven't noticed or you're not sure what I'm talking about. So let's put the drone on the ground. Okay, so we're down on the ground now. We can see all the propellers are in their floppy states. None of these are locked out. And as soon as I move these control sticks down to the center, these motors will start. It will do that pulse, so boom, boom, and then it will just wait for me to command the takeoff. However, if you press the auto takeoff button here, it would then just continue to take off. So I'm gonna move the microphone closer into the drone so you can hear that pulsing. Okay, we're gonna start the propellers now. So we're starting the props, listen. Okay, we're gonna start the propellers now. So we're starting the props, listen. So you heard that double pulsing there when the motor started up. And now if we take a look, you can see all of these propellers are in there fully locked orientation. They're all locked out and ready for flight. Now, this is the reason why I think we're getting that motor pulsing on startup. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. So that is what I think is going on here with the Mini 5 Pro and that motor pulsing on startup. I'm not 100% sure, but coming from a strong engineering background, that just makes complete sense to me. And if anything, it is a good thing and not a bad thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I have loads of other helpful videos like this and loads more still to come on the Mini 5 Pro. If you have enjoyed this video, you're also gonna enjoy this video right here, where I show you the seven things that you should do as soon as you get the Mini 5 Pro. And if that one doesn't speak to you then, maybe this one here will instead. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.